much, right? Far from it. You probably are making, you know, you know, the like the head of the organization might be making like 75 grand, maybe if he if he's really lucky, six figures. Um, but that is more along the lines of like the situation here in practice. Because at the end of the day, what is that the hundred you might think $160,000 that must be some sort of like criminal, you know, operation, right? Well, here's the thing. So the banks don't like people who deal with Bitcoin. They don't like people who sell Bitcoin. So at the end of the day, what do you do with your dollars? You got to store those dollars somewhere. And when the accounts are being shut down frequently, even though you're not, you don't believe you're committing any crime and you may not be, but the, the banks are still pressured to close your account. You got to do something with the money. So that those, those, uh, that crypto, first of all, those dollars are going to go to buy crypto. Okay. Um, because you got to restock the vending machines, right? So effectively what they're saying is they have like, I, it's that, I don't even think they were trying to claim that he had that, like he didn't, they didn't even claim, like, I don't think that he was, he had millions of dollars in like stock or in, um, stock. I don't mean like stock, like stock of a corporation. I mean like physical stock, right? So the product that, you know, somebody is selling, right? A company is selling, or in, in this case, it's a church, um, you know, because it's, it's, it's a charitable cause that, you know, those, those. You're six minutes away from a live episode of Free Talk Live. Listen live at freetalklive.com. Grief and anger in Minnesota. I'm Lisa Lacerra, Fox News. Curfews announced in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and several other communities after the fatal shooting yesterday of a black man in a Minneapolis suburb by a white police officer not far from where the trial of the former officer charged in the death of George Floyd is taking place as Governor Tim Walz speaks out. Governor Walz says accident or not, the result is apparent in Brooklyn Center. A 20-year-old dad a family devastated, and a community on edge. He says as the world watches the Derek Chauvin trial, his state and the community where Dante Wright died needs space to grieve. And to express, in many places, their anger that this continues to go on. But to those who turn to violence and looting, he assures. It will not be tolerated. Minnesota Republicans criticized the governor early on for comments that seemed to condemn law enforcement in Wright's death. Grinnell Scott. Fox News. President Biden calls the body cam footage of the shooting graphic. He says he understands the anger and frustration in the community, but said there is absolutely no justification, none for looting, no justification for violence. The president says he spoke with the mayor and the governor and said he hasn't yet spoken with Dante Wright's family, but offered his condolences. One person has died and a police officer injured after and a gunman reportedly in custody after a shooting at Austin East Magnet High School in Knoxville, Tennessee. The Knox County School Superintendent tweeted that the school building has been secured and students not involved in the incident have been released to their families. The school's website says they have 642 students and 154 staff members, as well as that they are the county's only designated performing arts magnet. Jessica Rosenthal, Fox News. On Wall Street, the Dow minus 55 points, and NASDAQ off 50. The S&P lost a fraction. America is listening to Fox News. Indeed is the job site that makes hiring as easy as one, two, three. Post, screen, and interview. All on Indeed. Get your quality shortlist of candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description faster. Only pay for the candidates that meet must-have qualifications. According to Talent Nest, Indeed delivers four times more hires than all other job sites combined. If you're hiring, you need Indeed. Get started right now with the free $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash Fox. Indeed.com slash Fox. Offer valid through June 30th. Terms and conditions apply. A federal program is being offered to help people pay for COVID-related funeral expenses. FEMA's COVID burial assistance program will provide up to $9,000 for each funeral. FEMA says applicants must be, quote, a U.S. citizen, non-citizen, national, or qualified alien who paid for funeral expenses after January 20th, 2020. In addition, the applicant must show a death certificate that states that the death occurred in the U.S. and was caused by or likely the result of COVID-19. It's open to families regardless of their income, but they cannot have already received similar benefits through another program. To apply, call 844-684-6333 or get more information at FEMA.gov. Look for the COVID funeral assistance link on the site's front page. 
Tanya J. Powers, Fox News. The grandsons of Prince Philip have each issued statements following his death last week. Prince William says Prince Philip was an extraordinary man. Prince Harry calls him a legend of banter and master of the barbecue. The brothers released individual statements today paying tribute to their grandfather. They both call him grandpa and hail the support Prince Philip gave to his wife, Queen Elizabeth. Harry is understood to have flown back to Britain from the U.S., to attend Philip's funeral on Saturday. In London, Simon Owen, Fox News. Italian police say two off-duty art squad officers have recovered a first-century Roman statue that was stolen from an archaeological site outside Rome in 2011. I'm grateful to have heard from some of our satellite listeners recently. I appreciate knowing that people are out there who like what we do and are willing to support it financially. LRN.FM's free-to-air satellite feeds blanket most of two continents. It was my goal to put our channel there so people without internet could receive our programs and feed pirate radio stations. We started a fundraiser on Patreon a few years ago to back the satellite channels. I recently announced that I was considering canceling the feeds and donations increased from 15 to 20 percent of our costs, which are around $1,000 per month. That's a good start, and to incentivize more contributions, the Shire Free Church will be matching every dollar. Can we reach $500 per month? With your help, we can. You can join our satellite fundraiser for just $2 a month at fund.lrn.fm. If we raise enough to keep both of the channels on the air, awesome. If we raise more, I'll add more channels. If not, we can shut them down and go internet only. It's up to you. Thank you for your support. fund.lrn.fm. Following reports earlier today that Indiana University freshman Lawrence Plotnick's roommate Brian Tabor has found an excuse to go home every weekend since August, Plotnick spoke to Onion reporters about his roommate's frequent trips to his nearby hometown of Terre Haute, Indiana. Every week since we got here, it seems like every time I ask him if he wants to hang out on Friday, he has some wedding or birthday party or something. In fact, I'm pretty sure he hasn't spent a single Friday or Saturday night on campus in the past six months. Plotnik went on to cite a variety of far-ranging excuses used by his roommate to justify his constant visits home, including various family functions, a visiting friend from China, as well as his occasional desire to, quote, just hang out at home for a couple of days. I mean, I suppose I vaguely understood when he had to go back in November because his best friend's grandfather died, but last weekend he had to go back for his aunt and uncle's wedding anniversary. He said he couldn't miss it. This is the Onion News Network. Talk Live. It's Free Talk Live. Talk radio you control. Take control of the airwaves. Talk about whatever is on your mind. 603-283-6160. That's the call in line. Again, talk about whatever you want. 603-283-6160. And with you in the studio tonight, it's Aria. And Conan. And Conan, how was your week? Mine was Covidious. Well, I had a very productive yesterday. I was very happy with the work I got done outside working on my tan. I understand that you actually pay people to tan you. Yes. Well, I just go outside and do some work and it's... There are wasps and bees and stuff in my backyard that I don't like contending with. I mean, generally they leave me alone, but I don't like them buzzing around mm -hmm. me. And they're very curious and I have very flowery looking hair. It's easier just to, plus you got to sit there in the sun for hours. You can otherwise. Well, that's just, why, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't just go out there and sit. Yeah. I would have to do something. And, you know, reading is hard because it's so bright. Um, and of course you have your, your insect problem but in my in my eyes I, I do have some I, yeah i have i have a wasp actually i have a wasp nest right on the side of my house that that needs to go because it's in front of my camera Ooh, so I basically good. i have just these huge bulbous bodies crawling across <laughs> my screen you know every 30 seconds so i got to do something about that that's not uh it's kind of hard to see who's walking up my front porch whenever there's a, there's a big old bug in the way yeah but that yeah, sounds kind of horrifying to watch the the, the it's been I was reading some comments about our particular incident. First of all, we're down hosts because of, you know, something that took place that you can't talk about. Sure. Well, I can tell people what happened. We we were raided. I was arrested. And then... We lost. We're down two. Yes. 
Uh, and of he course, and, and, and for, co- for a couple, for what, at least one day, we were down everybody. But then, you know, um, we got back up and running. But now, uh, of course, Mark comes back to save the day, Super Mark, and he may or may not have brought something with him, or it might have come from another another co-host. And well, the uh, and, and, and and we're, and we're it, dropping like flies. The, the likeliest explanation is that it came from Michael Hampton. Because he was the one who tests positive, and mm-hmm. he's the one who's always in and out of hospitals and stuff. And from there, it spread to Mark and the captain, and then from Mark to me. But I was more or less okay. Mm-hmm. There was only one day that it was really bad, and it was just extreme fatigue and soreness. Right. To the extent that I actually had to get my boss to close for me and let me go home early. Wow, which, you actually, uh, yeah. yeah. Take, I mean, here you are taking one for the team, doing all the work that you're doing. R- w- only j- just dreaming about a, what days off felt like. Yeah. How long ago was the last day off? Except for your tanning, of course. That was a couple. That was an hour at least, right? Or twenty minutes? Or oh, how long? T- ten minutes, Tom. Oh, really? That's yeah. how. Oh, well, that, I mean, that that's the point. You know, you can either spend hours standing in the sun, or you mm-hmm. can just go tan for ten minutes and get it done that way. I prefer that way. It saves me time. So one of the comments that I saw, of course, is uh, I can't believe you know they we they've been open. Not, uh, non-social distancing, non-masking for an, an entire year. Yes. And it's taken that long for them to finally get something. Yes. And, but and, that, and, and that's not all of us either because I'm, I'm, still, I'm, I'm still good to go. That something was me losing my sense of loss, uh, my sense of taste and smell, mm-hmm. which is annoying, but not a huge problem and being tired and very sore for one day. Yeah. And I, I, I went home that Friday night, rested, woke up Saturday feeling fantastic. Right. You know, and I was thinking about it on the way here today. You remember the, you remember the good old days, you know, back in the day? You mean before the pandemic? Before the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, just took over everyone's minds, turned everyone into maskies, turned, turned everyone into crazy people. You remember back in the day when the, someone in the office would get sick and the whole office would get sick? Yeah. And it was just like a normal thing. It's like, yeah, someone got sick. I'm just, just I'm just counting the hours until I get the sniffles and then I get the aches and I just don't want to come in and I you know and the boss is all fretting and the boss is running around like you better not get sick. I mean, this happened at at my place of work Mm -hmm. uh, just a few weeks before, like last February, I think it was, where one person got the flu. It spread to almost the entire staff. Right, and we were all several of us were sick for weeks. But this, uh, I don't appear to have gotten anyone sick as a result of right. me working despite well, I mean, having COVID-19. Well, that's herd humidity. I mean, it's it's how that works. Sure. Uh, it's, it, there's a reason why I haven't gotten sick. I can't even remember the last time I got sick. Like sick, sick. Like your fever, you know, I, over a decade ago. See, mine was last February, but that was the first time that I had been sick in a very, very long time. But you smoke. Yes. And I think the last time I got sick, sick. A decade ago was because I, I was, I happened to be smoking, wouldn't you know? Oh, I also worked third shift. I or crazy, nasty hours, and you're kind of in the same boat. You get, would get home at one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock or oh, something. Oh, I wish I could get home as early as one o'clock. So you might, I on mean, Thursdays, I usually get home by one thirty to two o'clock, but on Fridays, Saturdays, it's, it's closer to 3 a.m. Do you get vitamin D from them tanning beds? And do you get enough of I it? I do in still ten- spend, I mean, I smoke outside on my back porch. So I, I spend a fair bit of time still outside on my back porch. Yeah. I mean, I've got chairs out there, I've got, you know, portable speakers. I just sit out there chilling. Usually for about like half an hour before work or something like that. So getting vitamin D that way. Plus, I drive a convertible there and it's go. warming up. So, Well, I mean. It's finally warm enough to let, you know, the tops down. I hate that about other people in convertibles, man. They'll drive around in sweaters with their tops down. I'm like, you, do you realize how stupid you look for what? the sake of trying to look cool? You mean their sweaters and their masks? Yeah. It's 40 <laughs> degrees outside, dude. Put your top up. <laughs> Stop being ridiculous. It isn't that important to look cool. Yeah. So speaking of things that look cool, you mentioned that you have a meme of the week. Yeah, you know what? It's actually, uh, it started, let me pull this up. It started last week. And uh, I, I do like to bring these um, these funny memes to the, to the table whenever uh, I, I stumble across them. But uh, basically what happened, Jordan Peterson, who I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a not, yeah, I'm a fan of. I like the guy. I like his, uh, you know, his, the way he thinks. A uh, uh, particular writer, uh, Ta Nahisi Coates, who I think wrote for the Atlantic. Uh, he's also written 
lots of you know interesting articles and whatnot. He 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 leans a certain way. Now he's getting into the comic book industry, and he's actually, uh, as I understand it, is working on the next Superman. Okay. Uh, which is interesting because a lot of people have, have speculated that if if Nahisi is in charge, it's going to be it's going to be a woke Superman, even more woke than they've you know the last uh, uh, the Snyder uh, cuts that we've seen. I don't know anything about that. I keep seeing people talking about the Snyder verse or whatever that is. What in the hell are people talking about? Uh, well, he did direct uh, the last Justice League. And, oh, and I, I, don't, I didn't he, watch he, any of the DC movies. I can't. Uh, so he, I guess he did a lot of work on it. He did a lot of the film, and then someone else edited it. Okay. And supposedly it ruined his vision, and so he came out. He's been working on it for two years, and of course he's had all of the information, all of the backlash, and all of the comments that have been made for two years of what fans thought and what they wanted to see, and so he took all of his footage and basically cut a four-hour. Uh, DC, the last, the, the basically the last film, he he recut it and used put all his, um, all his footage in, and actually redid things, and actually had actors come back and re, you know, you know, uh, to 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 uh, to uh, to update lines and whatnot. Four hours. I actually watched it. <laughs> and what was the point of doing this to give people what they were asking for? That and that he felt, I guess he felt snubbed that uh, he didn't get to edit his own footage. Someone in the okay. comments tell me what exactly happened. But, um, or call in, actually. What, what, this is a, it's a talk show radio. Call in and tell me what Snyder actually did. But anyways, I think his wife produced it. He cut it. And um, uh, it, it, it's, it, takes, it takes characters in a different direction. Some characters, like the, uh, the android character, Cyborg, uh, gave him like an extra 40 minutes of footage that he didn't have in the previous movie. So really fleshed out his character. Um, it just, it just really turned it. it oh, and, he, and of course, Snyder is renowned for his, um, his slow-mo, uh, uh, scenes where everything's just walking in slow and you've got some, um, uh, you got some iconic music playing it. Uh, it's, it's just, I've never seen any of them. So this is all strange to me. I, you don't have time to watch movies. So, I mean, I don't even know why Not you're even, moment, I don't even know why you're even asking me about it. <laughs> But, uh, but anyways, when we get back, we're going to cover Ta-Nehisi Coates and his new venture into comic book writing and his new supervillain. Take oh. control of the airwaves, 603-283-6160. It's Free Talk Live. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it, use it, spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at Bitcoin.com. That's Bitcoin.com. Hey developers, do you want to add Bitcoin to your apps? Website? Want to make something creative? AnyPay is the way. We made a super simple API just for you at anypay.dev. You don't need any special knowledge of Bitcoin. Plug it into your app or website and it just works. Get paid on the transactions your users make. Whether you're brand new to web development or have decades of experience, you can add Bitcoin to anything with anypay.dev. There are lots of ways to listen to Free Talk Live. Our podcast has been around since podcasts began, and now the FTL feed is loaded with content besides our full show archives. Did you know that we make it easy for you to customize your podcast subscriptions? We have different feeds, one that includes only our full shows, one with just the Daily Digest, and our main feed that includes everything. You decide what you listen to. It's quick and easy to customize your feeds at feeds.freetalklive.com. That's feeds.freetalklive.com. Do you feel like your nation, state, or community no longer holds your values? Have you dreamt of a place where people agree that liberty is important and are free to pursue their projects so long as they respect the property of others? There are many people just like you that are discovering FreePrivateCities.com. Their social media links are at the upper right of the page at FreePrivateCities.com. All skill levels will be needed when the first of the Free Private Cities opens. It's sooner than you think. Stop arguing and build. FreePrivateCities.com. 
So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about, but it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country that, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do, though, is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying, "Let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas." There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. What if you want to hear the latest episode of Free Talk Live, but all you have is your phone, you forgot to download our archive, and you have no data connection? You can call our listen line at 641-793-0191. That's a long distance number, so you may incur charges. If not, listen as long as you want. 641-793-0191. The Free Talk Live listen line, 641-793-0191. AnyPay believes that Bitcoin is meant to improve your life, make it easier to do business, connect you with more people in the world, and under a penny every time. That's kind of why we laugh at BTC. It used to be free the market, free the world. Now it's just hodl and have fun staying poor. That's not what the world needs. We need honest money that works for everyone. If you care, join us at AnyPayX.com. Our Matrix server is about as free as internet chat can be. Join the existing rooms or create your own at chat.freetalklive.com. It's Free Talk Live. Talk about whatever you want. 603-283-6160. That's the call in line. And I'm trying to confirm it with Rogers Campground. Uh, couldn't get them on the phone today. Evidently, they closed at 2 o'clock, and I was busy up until 2 o'clock, so I wasn't able to. We're going to be at Fork Fest, though. We've been talking about it. We've been planning it. I mean, when it comes down to it, uh, Fork Fest, realistically, it's Free Talk Live's event. I mean, no one, no one is in charge. No one controls it, but we're the ones. I think we're the exclusive promoters of it, and we're going to be there. Because we have to be there. Well, I want to be there, but I, I think Free Talk Live should be there. June the 28th through July the 4th at Rogers Campground in the beautiful White Mountains of New Hampshire. It's the week after the Porcupine Freedom Festival, which we will also be at. But Fork Fest is decentralized, which means there's no ticket cost and no one is in charge. All you have to do is reserve your camping site, RV site, or motel room with Rogers Campground for June the 28th through July the 4th. You can also connect with other attendees using the unofficial telegram and the unofficial form. You can find links to those at forkfest.party. We hope to see you there. Now, we're talking about memes here. Somehow, during the break, we ended up getting into a discussion about Gothic 3. And, I, you know, you said not to, but I'm, I'm really tempted to go home Don't and play it. Don't <laughs> do Gothic. Do Enderall, the game I covered last week in Game of the Week. But see, Gothic, it's I know what I'm getting into, and I can sink an hour into it tonight and then be and then, and then never play it again? Yes. I, if, if that's what you're going to do... That's probably what I'm going to just do. Just watch. I'll find that YouTube video <laughs> watch. A re-review, a nostalgic re-review. Of a, of, a, of a player coming back to Gothic 3, basically what you want to do. And he says, this is a game I grew up with. This is a game that I loved so much and spent so many hours in. And we're still on it for us, aren't we? And I wanted to do exactly what Arya is saying she's going to do. Played it for an hour, and I'm never going back again because nostalgia is a real, it's a real butt kicker sometimes. Somehow or another, and by the way, that's what I've been doing during this whole lockdown nonsense. I just I've been going back. I've been playing my classics. I've been I've been dusting them off. And of course, I have and most of these I have physical copies too. But I don't even have a CD player anymore, so I don't even know a CD ROM. I don't so, either. So I just I'm just getting them on Steam as they you know as they come on sale. I'm, you know I have my wish list. It's huge, it's like a hundred games in there or something. But yeah, I, just, I think I, I, I replayed older Gothic games. Three when it was on sale as well. 
Because, right. like, like you said, I had a disc for it, and I'm pretty sure I still have the disc somewhere. But what it's, good it, is it's, that? It's discs too, isn't it? It's probably more I think it than was one. Just one. It might be. A, they might have DVD ROMs whenever they, that when three came out. But for those who don't know, Gothic Three for its time was one of the most graphically stunning games out there. I mean, today it's still comparable to Skyrim. It is. It's good looking if you can get it to run. And it was made in like 2006 or something like that. It's way older than Skyrim. And of course, but it is a terribly optimized mess it is it's very glitchy they're all glitchy and by the way german company guess who also makes enderol it's a german company oh, really? something about uh, the the way that they think uh i like how they make games i like some of the i like some russian games too but um no don't do it i don't know man i don't I, I want to, but then I remember like simple things like lighting a torch causes the game to just stop for like 30 <laughs> seconds while it goes, wait a minute, we have to calculate I think you all just, of this lighting. I think you're just wanting to test out your new graphics card. I don't have a new graphics card. And I've had that gaming PC for a while, so I'm well, pretty sure it can handle Gothic 3 <sighs> easily. But I mean, that's an issue with their engine. You know, no powerful computer is going to be able to fix what is essentially just bad optimization. Correct. Speaking of uh, hot messes, renowned Canadian psychologist Dr. Jordan Peterson responded to a Marvel, a Marvel comic story arc that parodies his ideas with a series of mocking memes. The latest issue of Captain Marvel, or, Ma or Marvel's Captain America, uh, did I say Captain Marvel? Yeah, Captain America, written by the woke writer Ta Nahishi Coates. The Red Skull, long, or long the Nazi inspired nemesis of Captain takes to the interwebs to explain his 10 rules for life, the feminist trap, and chaos and order, which is basically mocking Peterson's uh, books as uh, 12 rules for life. And uh, what is the other one that he wrote? Uh, uh, has to do with the uh, uh, beyond order. Um, and of course, okay. So what part of this does uh, Peterson hell from? I mean, the the books that you're, I mean, the the criticism of him are rewording his books to, give me give me the f spoof titles again. Uh, all right, so basically you have the Red Skull, uh -huh. who is a Nazi. Okay, he's just got a skull. Um, he's he's the he's the uh, n main nemesis of Captain uh, Captain America, and uh, he basically he embodies all of Nazism and uh, and uh, Stalin uh, Stalin's communism. I didn't watch the first Captain America movie. Was Red Skull in it? It's probably one of the worst of the, the Marvels. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. I, I, I never cared much for it. But yes, the Red Skull was in it, played by the uh, uh, Captain Captain Smith, uh, uh, Agent Smith from The Matrix, whoever that guy is. Okay. With the big head. Yeah. So basically you have... He's probably pretty good at playing Nazis too, because... I mean, that's what Agent Smith essentially was. He's he act, that whoever that actor is, he's good at a lot of roles that he's been in. I'm a I'm a fan, of course. Um, so basically, you had the Red Skull, and he's on a computer screen, and he is uh, try, he's reaching out to his new minions, and of course, uh, he has ten rules for life, and uh, the feminist trap, and chaos and order. It written, this is all put together by Tanahisi, ta 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 and uh, and and Peterson found out about it. And he 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 tweeted out the pack the picture the caption, and he's like. So let me make sure I'm following. And this. he's and he's like is like is this me? Tanahisi is the guy who's making the next Superman. He's writing. He, uh, as far as I understand, he is working on the new script. Okay. What, you know, but you and you know how movie scripts work. So he's comparing Jordan Peterson's words to words of a Nazi. He is comparing Jordan Peterson to a Nazi. Okay. He's. He's comparing. See, Jordan I don't know Pe nothing about these figures. So he's comparing Jordan Peterson to Red Skull. Okay. Who is a villain? Which is. Uh, all I right. don't know anything about Jordan Peterson. I wish I did. But oh I, I wow! Don't. I didn't even realize. <laughs> I didn't give you enough homework. Did you watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I didn't. All right. So you did. You I, you get how, it. How you, was I going to have the time to when I was dying of COVID? You had Friday ten night? minutes in that tanner you, <laughs> to, to watch on your little streamer device. There, you you get an F the day for your uh, your homework assignments. We'll just we'll we'll keep that in the back in the back burner. So basically, um, he, he responded. Basically, uh, uh, is this me? Is, is this is this the level of woke that you've gone to that you're going to that you you hate me so much? So he turns it on his head. He and many uh, memers uh, uh, across the the land who probably have a, a Pepe the Frog somewhere in their uh, their arsenal of uh, of uh, throwbacks. 
Uh, basically, they have taken uh, Red Skull and they have attributed Jordan Peterson quotes, very inspired, you know, clean your room, clean your damn room. And it's a picture of the Red Skull and or uh, when you're walking down the street and you see that stray cat, go and pet it. You know, things like that. Um, let me see if I could bring some of them up. Okay, so this author attempted to compare Jordan Peterson to Red Skull. And fans of Jordan Peterson presumably thought this was just so moronic that they started taking some of Jordan Peterson's quotes and attributing them to Red Skull? Correct. Okay. Just because it, it looks ridiculous to see a, a picture of Red Skull telling him to clean your room. Or to go pet a stray cat. You're going to pay a price for every bloody thing you do and everything you don't do. You don't get to choose not to pay a price. You get to choose which poison you're going to take. That's it. And it's a picture of Red Skull. Why would he say that? 603-283-6160. This is Free Talk Live. Carl Watner, longtime proponent of a voluntary society, died last December. You may have seen his articles published on his website, voluntarius.com, in his newsletter, The Voluntarist, The Mises Institute, or elsewhere over the last 40 years. His newest book, I Must Speak Out, Volume 2, The Best of the Voluntarist, is now available via Liberty Under Attack Publications. This 430-page second volume spans the years of 2000 through 2020 and includes articles by Carl Watner, Hans Hermann Hoppe, Carl Hess, Benjamin Tucker, George H. Smith, Lysander Spooner, Pete Ayer, Joyce Brand, and many others. I Must Speak Out is for the newly initiated, the veteran voluntarist, or anywhere in between. Buy the book now at libertyunderattack.com slash voluntarist. For more great content on building a voluntary society and for Carl's extensive archives, check out voluntarist.com. You know how annoying it is when someone keeps stopping mid-sentence as though he or she were asking you a series of questions? Avoid doing that. It sounds unnervingly tentative, and it imposes upon the listener to help you complete the thought. And if you're